We can dynamically bind the HTML properties using Angular property binding. You need to wrap HTML property inside brackets as shown on this slide. Just like an expression, property binding is also one way from component class to HTML view. Let's organize our code a bit. I'll create a button and add disabled property on it. Notice I wrapped the property inside brackets. As you can see in the browser, button is disabled. This time create a property on the class and bind it. You might have already noticed I'm using disable button colon boolean equals to false. As TypeScript is strongly typed language, I need to specify which type of data I'm going to store inside disable button property.